Good afternoon, good morning, whatever time you're watching, it's afternoon for me making it. But I wanted to come at you today with um, negative feedback. I received a negative feedback for an item that I shipped. Sorry, I'm kind of distracted. I'm doing something else right now, too. I'm leaving feed. I don't give feedback automatically. I, I used to. But because of people that don't know how to reach out to you before they send you negative feedback, I waited to do it, and now I do it in bulk. Um, but that's okay, because i got to pull up what I want to show you, and hopefully it's still there. Um, but yeah, negative feedback. It's not the end of the world, especially when I have 100% feedback before this. I do have a neutral, and... Why is everything not moving on? Hold on. Here it is. Um, let me show you the item if I can. Yeah, here we go. Here is the item in question. This is a autographed kiss with Vinnie Vincent and Eric Carr um, picture that I got off eBay years ago. Yes, I've bought a lot of stuff on eBay. These signatures are probably copy, rubber stamped, or however they do it, other than really signing it. Because I'm sure I purchased it after Eric Carr's death, so it's really hard for him to sign it when he's six feet under. Um, Vinny was a ghost, so there ain't no telling what he was doing for 20 years. KISS fans know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I used to be big in KISS. I collected a lot of stuff. I collected this. I didn't care. It was a cool little thing. Even to have a copy of Eric Carr's autograph is cool to me. So anyway, I had it for years. Um, and I, I went to the dollar store and bought a cheap dollar frame for it. Hung it up on my wall. I was happy with it, you know. It, it's a cool little piece of memorabilia for me. So anyway, I sold it. And I uh, sold it to the guy for $15 and $5 shipping first class. It was under a pound. So he, without contacting me, it's already been removed. Some sucker son. Anyway, that's what I was going to talk about. He left me negative feedback saying, yeah, you really got me on this 99 cent picture frame and this 99 cent picture. Well, for one, in the description, let's see if I can go back and... No, it's even gone. There, there's no trace of it anymore. <laughs> oh, well. But anyway, I said in the description that... Signatures are probably not real, likely printed, which, you know, when you say they're not real, that means they're rubber stamped or they're copied or, you know, do I, do I think somebody signed for them? No. I think these are some kind of authentic stamps, you know, you can carve out people's signatures and stamp stuff. It's an old trick, but anyway. I mean, me and you can't, but experts can. Um, but yeah, he left me a negative feedback telling me, you know, he really, I really got him on this and you know, my eBay shop ought to be closed down for pulling this and blah, blah. And here's what got him. And you better be glad I don't have your address. Not that I'm scared of him. I almost started to give it to him because me and Mr. Uh, Glock and nine millimeter um, might have been a little aggressive on him. State of Tennessee, you don't need a carry permit. Sorry, I had something in my mouth. Gross, ain't it? But anyway, so because he pregnantly threatened me. 
I contacted eBay for business this morning. I'd say around noonish. Well, they just got back with me a few minutes ago and told me they will remove it. And lo and behold, as you can see, it has been removed. The neutral, that is, I don't remember what that was. What is that? It was a stupid reason. Oh, yeah, the John Wayne video that never reached the guy. You know, I sent him, he ordered a, a, a sealed John Wayne set. had like four or five discs in it, and I had two of them, and I sent him the wrong one at first. He got that one, complained about it, and I said, okay, man. I said, just keep it. I said, my bad. I'll send you the one out the next day or something. Well, I sent him out the right one, and it never reached him post office lost it the tracking stopped and I asked them about it and they said it dropped off the face of the earth and he went to the postmaster's his place they said it dropped off the earth you know someone's enjoying some John Wayne movies is what the problem is but you know I gave him the ones you know that I accidentally sent him I didn't ask for him back he asked me if he wanted to send them back I said no keep them as me saying I'm sorry you know my mistake my bad I didn't pay attention to which set I was sending you. You know, that seemed fair to me. If, if he had got it, he had got two sets. So, of course, the good thing about negative feedbacks and neutral feedbacks, even positive feedbacks, is you can list, you can leave a comment on what they listed or what they said. So, I put in the comment, in the negative comment, customer was sent the wrong disc by me at first. My fault, I take full responsibility for it. Told customer to keep the more, it was more expensive by a dollar or two of what I was selling it for. Told the customer to keep the most expensive disc as saying sorry. Mailed out the right one the next day and post office lost it in transit. Customer opened the case after 30 days and demanded a refund before post office finished looking for the disc. Really? I did not give customer refunds, so why the neutral feedback? Oh, I did give the customer, you know, I gave, him a, I gave him a refund and he got to keep the other set, so. And if the other set ever showed up, he got to keep that too. But, the main thing I want to get from this, one, is you can live with negative feedback. It ain't going to kill you and just know how to respond to it in a positive way. I mean, I've sold, I have 3,032 feedbacks, because you know everybody don't give you feedback. I have 33, I have 480 this year, or in a year's time, and one negative, it would have been one, it would have been one uh, negative, one neutral, excuse me. Um, Neutrals don't count against you. You'll still have 100% if they give you a neutral. The negative, I think I would have had a 99.8, you know, which eBay terms that still, I figure anything, depending on what your feedback rating is, like if you have over 100,000 and you have a 95, that might be a little sketchy. Well, that might be okay, I think, in, in the grand theme of things, scheme of things. But, you know, Basically, this guy was complaining about the frame. You know, it was a nice frame. It was a nice little wooden frame. Yeah, it was from the dollar store. And when I put the comment under it, I admitted that. It's just like walking in a house and you're trying to buy a house and you go, Oh, I don't like the wall color. So what? Paint it. If you don't like the frame, trade it out. I don't get people. I really don't. But that's all I wanted today. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.